Shalom to all. My name is Shlomo Riskin. I'm the chief rabbi of the city of Ephrat. Ephrat is a city in Judea, on the west bank of Israel, some seven miles south of Jerusalem, overlooking Jerusalem. I'm an Orthodox rabbi. And an Orthodox rabbi who is very profoundly interested in religion in general, in Christianity, and especially in the persona of Jesus in particular. This started when I was studying in university, and I majored in Greek, and then I spent a year at the Hebrew University and had a magnificent course with Professor David Flusser, which was the Gospels in Greek. And I was truly fascinated with the personality of Jesus, whom certainly, to myself, I always refer to as Rabbi Jesus. Because I think he is indeed a model rabbi in many counts. And he lived the life of a Jewish rabbi in Israel at a very critical time in our history. And I've constantly come back to a study of his personality and his teachings, which are very strongly rooted in Talmudic teachings. And I've come to the very obvious conclusion that Christians and Jews are the root and the branch. Because Jesus emerged out of Jewish teachings and Jewish society. And Jesus went on to present much of the fundamental truths of the Bible to the entire world. I would like to begin by trying to understand in depth that which unites the Jews and the Christians. And the first idea and ideal which informs both of our faiths is that of Messianism. The Greek Christos means Messiah. And Messiah is a Hebrew word, Mashiach, for the anointed, the anointed with oil, the king at a time of world peace and world redemption. Indeed, on the cross, which crucified Jesus, appears the four letters, Inri, Yesu Nazareth, Jesus of Nazareth, Rex Eudicorum, the King of the Jews. Messianism says that the world is lineal, not cyclical. That the graph may not be completely straight, but the world is moving towards the perfection of society. And there will come a time in the future, there will be an end game in which there will be peace, redemption, goodwill for all humanity. This is the dream. And this idea and ideal of the perfectibility of human nature in society is one of the most important links that we Jews and Christians share in common. There's one interesting difference. You know, I often think, if someone were to announce that the Messiah is here, who would actually want him? The Jews? Messiah means the Jews will have to move to Israel. I doubt that the Jews throughout the world are ready right now to move to Israel. So I don't think many, many people would be interested in his coming. Except religious Christians and religious Jews. And we will all run out to greet him and ask him one critical question. Is this the first time you're coming or the second time you're coming? That's the difference. But in terms of the idea and the ideal of Messianism, 
in terms of perfection and perfectibility of world and society, that is one of the most optimistic and critical ideas which we Jews and Christians shared together and gave to the world.